Welcome to Analytics with Max. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very important topic in Power BI that is currency conversion. How to do it and in what scenarios you will use it. Let's try to understand as part of this video. What it is basically your transactions captured or happen in different currencies and you are reporting in a single or multiple currencies. Then you need a currency conversions basically the reporting currency is based on the global headquarter of your company or global users requirement we are not sure what I'm talking about let's try to understand with some example so we have um, here the transactions captured in different currencies if you see this particular highlighted value which is captured in CAD that is Canadian dollars which is 800 and the next transaction is captured in Australian dollars which is 1000 so you cannot sum up these two and say your uh, sales amount is 1800 for these two transaction you cannot do because these are happened in two different uh, currencies and each currency has its own value so basically you need to convert this into a common currency if your company is in US it will be USD if your company in India it will be in INR so based on your company located or reporting requirements we need to change it to different common currency sometimes people want I want to see this transaction in euro I want to see this transaction USD that is what multi currency I'm not going to co cover both that part because each requires uh, different architecture and uh, different things most of the scenarios it will be different currency to a single currency so in this case we will have a different currencies will convert into USD that is what we are going to see once it convert to USD this can be 500 this can be 700 then you can combine 500 700 equal to 1200 that is what we will see as part of this video this is what currency conversion is all about let's try to check it in action this channel contains a free content that covers the power bi msbi and fundamentals of azure and data factory please utilize this free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's begin so what we are <coughs> talking about let's say here i taken this uh, model from adventure works so if you want to uh, practice or uh, use this uh, demo then you need to uh, have the adventure works database now you can see here you have um, your year and i have used the transaction currencies so this Australian dollar is 20,000 and Canadian dollar is 3,000 this is my sales amount my sales amount formula is very straightforward that is over here this is my sales amount sum of sales amount but as I said earlier we cannot sum up these two because this is happened in one currency this happened in another currency so what we need to do is we need to convert each transaction this is against each transaction right it can have many transaction underneath on 2010 so we need to convert this currency con uh, i mean this currency value into usd so i created another measure here so this is what currency conversion i will walk through that later now once you use this you will see a different value that is sales usd value how I have achieved it that's what we are going to see then this makes more sense to me right all the values are in USD irrespective of my uh, transaction happen so for uh, demonstration purpose only we use this uh, dollar or the currency name usually we will see this value like this so your sales is this and you always use the sales USD instead of sales because sales doesn't make any sense because this is the having different currency values let's keep it for our demo so this is what uh, we have done now basically how to achieve it that is what i'm going to show you let's 
<coughs> start from the model perspective we have fact internet sales and you have uh, currency there is a transaction currency happen so this is currency to fact internet sales and we have a dim date which is having a which particular date the transaction happened so this is the relationship between two then we should also have a fact currency rate which will hold currency on that particular date and what is the value let's see the data here i can see i filtered for one particular date so that you will understand um, how it looks like for a single date you will have uh, these currency values this is uh, currency value uh, is uh, i think it's australian dollars it can be us dollars or some other values so for each currency what is the equivalent currency conversion rate for the usd this is what it does this is by currency rate table now let's go on to internet sales even here i filtered for a one particular order number then we can see how it calculates in the report now this is my uh, sales order for this sales order i have this order date because my relation is based on the order date if you see the relationship here this is very important order date key uh, on this date on this currency that is 6 okay let's go and check what is 6 here 6 is australian dollar okay so once again so we have uh, 2013 may 2nd we have australian dollar currency and for this order number and let's focus only on one particular line number 1 539 is my amount right 539 is my total sales amount my sales amount is 539 let's focus only on this row now how i will convert it to usd so basically for that particular date right this date and for this currency what is my exchange rate so let me go to my exchange rate table for this particular date for this currency my exchange rate is this one either i can use average rate or end of rate for this purpose of this demo i use the end of day rate so basically i'll go to calculator let's clear everything let's come from the beginning so if you remember the value it is 539.99 i am going to use the divide okay here the conversion rate is reverse so that's why i use the divide and i will multiply this 0.525 3 4 eight, zero, 4 okay let's okay oh my god i didn't put the zero point let's start with beginning 0.525 there you go so my expected output for this particular uh, transaction is 1027.8 so let's try to understand this by a filtering this particular order over here yes zero what is the number if you remember it is a o sales order 57359 yes o 57359 there you go and as i said we'll focus only on the single line number if you remember that value 53999 this is the actual australian dollar value the us dollar value is 1027 so this is how we can verify if you see this result 1027.8 so uh, there is slight difference in the decimal because i didn't use the complete uh, conversion value here because i used the six digit that's why you have slight difference in the decimal places so now we achieved uh, what we want for a single this is how we can verify it's working fine or not our calculation is working fine or not so basically uh, as i said before now we found uh, each uh, uh, day for the transaction 
when for this day what is the currency and that particular combination i have to go through the uh, currency exchange rate and i have used it so same thing that's what i'm going to explain it here if you see here fact internet sales based on the full date alternate key okay that is my linking between the dim date and the fact and the currency so i will summarize it will create a virtual table right then in this virtual table i use the add columns that will have a summarized value of my combination whatever see for this exchange rate i need to focus only on this date and currency okay i don't want any other things then i will calculate the, my local currency value for each date okay i i don't bother which uh, um, uh, transaction or where this transaction comes from i just need to group by that date and the currency then i calculate the sales amount then i use this uh, contest uh, transition calculate function and selected value of for fact currency exchange rate end of rate so this will act like a filter because as we created a relationship here right so this will act like a filter then it will for this combination it will act like a filter then it will get me the corresponding exchange rate for that combination on the date what is the currency i will get my rate now i got a uh, sales amount which is in uh, different currency and corresponding exchange rate then i will iterate this uh, particular uh, virtual table using some x function and i will use the divide then i will get whatever we did here right this value and this value for each row i will uh, uh, iterate then i will get my result this is what we will do i uh, at this moment i want to acknowledge um, the code that i have taken from dax patterns that is i think sql bi guys so this is where uh, i found this very interesting uh, thing i have used the code used over here okay this is not uh, the calculation i have created on my own so thanks for them and um, now this is what we we have achieved it then you can see the results so this is all about the currency conversion so this is for our um, confirmation now how we can make it more effective is like uh, this uh, instead of this i will give one toggle filter for time being uh, i will remove this um, uh, currency name so i will give a toggle right here over here then i can choose right now either i will uh, go for um, uh, local or usd i should able to choose either i need this local value or the us sales usd value how can i do that so i just used one another measure this is something like a toggle measure we have created i mean de uh, derived table this is uh, in my previous videos i have showed you it's a derived table i used a simple dax to create a table and that will create two columns one with currency that is local and usd and another column with or i use that one here now uh, this one will have two values right local and usd if i choose local you show this value if i choose uh, usd you show this value so that is what this measure will do sales amount that is local and um, if it is local use the sales amount if it is not then always show the sales usd now when i use this measure over here right in this there you go i am choosing local here that's why you showing 540 if i use usd this will show usd value so this measure is formatted with um, uh, rounding off so that's why it's rounded off the value so in this way you can uh, control um, uh, what values to be chosen this is, will be your as you see here the transaction happen in many currencies but you are showing the values in the usd let's see like i will remove uh, these filters over here and you can see uh, now this value shows only in the usd 
so usually we will remove these meshes we will show only this one so people can now they can play around either they need a local currency meaning local means they also have a company that is what territory also to be part of it so that they will understand this is for australian dollars then this is local value and if you choose usd this is for uh, australian company and this is showing in the usd that is how we can manage so now we successfully converted um, um, the transaction currencies into a common reporting currency this is what currency conversion is all about if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset if you are watching this video for the very first time subscribe to this channel so that you will get more contents like this